Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 6th of August, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SHFS and ECF ensembles. Maybe in a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, and that will get us into the latter stages of August. I'll get time back for you. In a moment, just to say that the first video release day was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released European Outlook and a look at the JMA seasonal model, taking us from August to October. Wow, wow, wow. Um, earlier today, so please check out all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Webbersy. Thank you so much, everyone, um, for doing that. Around 18 subscribers now will get us to uh, uh, 16.5K. So if you could get us a sub, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Right, let's start off in the uh, Tropical Atlantic today. So we've got a disturbance area. We've got this yellow X just here. That's disturbance one with a 0% chance of cyclone formation in the uh, next two days and a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. They're saying a tropical wave is located several hundred miles to the southwest of Cape Verde Island. Conditions are expected to be favourable for gradual development of this system later this week and a tropical depression could form over the weekend or early next week while it moves west while it moves westward to west northwestward over the tropical Atlantic. That's one to watch. We'll keep you updated. Central temperature has updated. We are now sitting at 15.9. We've gone under 16 degrees. That is 0.1 of a degree uh, under the 61.99 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 26th of July. That will be around 0.8 of a degree, nearly one degree below the 91 to 2020 average, by the way. So, shaping that to be a little bit cooler than average for the more modern average, and close to normal for the old 61 to 90, 90 average. We shall see where that finishes up when we get to month 10 at the start of next week. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks on the Exeter today, home of the UK Met. The red line is the first year upper air temperature average for Exeter. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment, but they are going to be getting cooler through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Early next week, we get a bit of a lift up in the upper air temperatures, but it's only associated with an area of low pressure, bringing further batches of wet and windy weather. And then after that, through the first week of August, actually quite cool, quite a cool spell opening up now through the uh, first week of August, possibly with winds turning into the north. Maybe signs of a bit of a recovery back closer to average with the upper air temperatures into second week of August, but of course, that's a long way off. Precipitation-wise, well, we could be some drier weather over the next two or three days, I think. We'll be further showers through the weekend, but the areas of persistent wet weather, they're going to ease off, I think, for the next two or three days. However, early next week, the wet weather comes back, so a new area of low pressure looks like it's going to bring heavy rain in from off the Atlantic through the beginning of uh, next week. And then beyond that, just showery with either showers and or long spells of rain to come. It looks a cool and unsettled couple of weeks here, following on from what has been a cool and unsettled July so far. Temperature anomalies from the 27th of July to 4th of August, around to a little bit below average, not, partic not a particularly big deviation. Precipitation anomalies from the 27th of July to 12th of August, generally wetter than average in most places. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows that low pressure is dominating the weather in the Atlantic. The weather system, oh, the weather fronts, it gave all of the wet weather yesterday, clearing the way to the east. And this area of low pressure will be sinking in across the country over the next uh, two or three days, bringing showers especially so to the northern half of the country. 
So that's how late as you can bet. Your run is looking for midnight on Sunday. Low pressure sitting over Scotland. Up will be bringing further showers. And then into Monday and Tuesday, a new area of low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic. That bring further spells of wet weather with it. That low pressure then pulls out to the east. Just by the middle of next week, turns the wind into that cool northerly direction. I've got another little area of low pressure here. Here, flirting with the uh, southwest. So uh, that's midnight Thursday, as far as we get to with the UK Met Euro run looking cool and unsettled up to that point. I can't again with the low pressure over Scotland on Sunday. That's replaced through uh, Monday and Tuesday by a new area of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing spells of rain. Winds turning into the north through the middle of next week, cool and showering. Then, and those cool showery conditions continue up to midday on Thursday with northerly winds again being cool air from the Norwegian Sea and uh, <laughs> it's low pressure involved, so more showers are likely. The GFS midnight run again showing low pressure in Scotland on Sunday. That will bring showers to, particularly to the northern half of the country over the weekend. And then into the open next week, a new area of low pressure starting to develop out to the Atlantic, the GFS turns that into a major feature, actually, as we go through Tuesday to Wednesday next week, dartboard low develops, that will bring heavy rain and potentially gale force winds through the early part of next week, this is like the opening days of August, so <laughs> what a start to August, that would be cool, wet and windy with that, below pressure then clearing away to the east, we turn the wind into that cool northerly through the second half of next week. That brings showers, especially to the north of the east. And uh, more low pressure heading in around days 9 and 10. That particularly for the south brings some wet weather um, there. Uh, all looking rather <laughs> cool and showery up to the very end of the GFS midnight run. Really, but there's a slight attempt at a transient ridge here around the 10th of August, but that doomed to fail as the next low pressure comes rolling in. That gets us to the 12th of August with uh, low pressure still well and truly in the ascendancy. Summer 2023 going down the tubes. <laughs> Everybody. It's going down the tubes, I think. Oh, dear. Um, but GFS 6Z, again, with that low pressure over Scotland on Sunday. Get by the sage long time now. I think if you want some hot, dry weather, everyone trying to get by the sage long. Um, so, as <laughs> so we go into the early part of next week, yes, the next low comes in off the Atlantic, but it doesn't whip that up quite as much as the midnight run did, but nevertheless, it's still bringing further wet weather in from the Atlantic through the early part of next week, and looking cool with those winds in from a northwesterly direction. Those winds then turn northerly for the second half of next week, so notably cool with showers and or longer spells of rain. Heading up toward day 10, you've guessed it, a new area of low pressure starting to <laughs> whip itself up, and uh, that becomes a bit of a doubt for by the 7th of August, we're just beyond day 10 now. But looking very unsettled with that as well. So that's being heavy rain in from off the Atlantic. Um, low pressure right over top of the country. It's just, it's just you think you can't take any more of it. The low pressure is right over the top of the country there. And uh, beyond that, through into the second week of August, actually unsettled weather continues with more low pressure in from off the Atlantic. The conveyor belt of lows just going on and on and on with the GFS output today. If you're enjoying the video, I don't know if you are, but <laughs> if you are, then uh, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Web Busy. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. What happened to the newspaper headlines? About 40 degrees again this summer. Hmm, I wonder. GM, again, with low pressure, bringing lots of showery conditions through the early part of next week. Oh, it's another low coming in Monday to Tuesday. That's going to have a lot of heavy rain associated with it. That low pressure then gets out of the way to our east. And we pull the wind into the north. So turning cool, showery through the second half of next week with those northerly winds continuing. 
and uh, the GM actually keeps that going with low pressure stuck in the North Sea. Um, so it stays cool and showery for North East region, probably very wet as well, close to this low, but elsewhere it's just like showers. But the main thing is those winds continuing from that north northwesterly direction. Uh, and then the East Sherm at WF once more, all much of a much history the early part of next week with the next low coming in. Bring some wet weather for the opening day or so of August. That low pressure shifts to Denmark and we pull the wind into the north through the middle part of next week. Cool and showery through the second half of next week with both northerly winds continuing and ending up by day 10 with this area of low pressure that I'm quite sure has got our name well and truly written on it. In fact, I will write our name on it. Why not? UK. That's UK bound, that area of low pressure. And uh, if we could go on another 24 hours, which we can't, but if we could go on to day 11, uh, then we would see that area of low pressure right over the top of the country. This, was, this is the precipitation forecast based on that East Shem run from Tometio.com. Showers to come over the next two or three days. And then more general outbreaks of rain spreading across the country through the early part of next week. Back to showers through the middle part of next week with those cool northerly winds continuing as well. And uh, there's the mass of heavy rain waiting in the wings at day 10. And as I say, that wet weather is only going in one direction, which is that particular direction. These are the options on the table within the East Shem on Summer Day 4 Day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 6th of August. 10 members of the East Shem on Summer with low pressure over to the East Country, high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. That's cool and showery. We've got another tank cream patrol and the operation run with some higher pressure through here. Low pressure is around there and to our east that low pressure is going to be heading in if we can go any further. Um, nine with low pressure again just to our east. High pressure is out to the west. We've got eight with low pressure over and to the east of the country. That's cool and showery as well. Seven with low pressure to the northwest. That's going to be bringing wind from the Atlantic and another seven no pressure close to Scotland. They're all looking rather showery at day 10, if not unsettled. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 11th of August. 22 members of the East Shem on top of them with low pressure over Scandinavia. Probably weakish pressure back into West of Europe. High pressure down towards France and up towards Greenland. That's still looking rather cool and showery. 17 bridges from high pressure in from the southwest. That could be sun. That could be starting to try and turn drier and warmer. And then 12, we have a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland and with indoor bletches and lower pressure underneath it. Um, all rather inconclusive. There's no clear evidence that we're turning uh, back to high pressure and summer weather up to the 11th of August there. Surface V2, finally, and then we're done. I'm sure you'll be very pleased to hear that. Um, these are 500 millibar height and lines breaking down into wheat periods. The first wheat period takes from the 27th of July, 2nd of August. Low pressure dominates in week M. Very cool and showery, uh, unsettled week to come. Week 2 is going to be the 3rd to the 9th of August. Low pressure over top of the country. Winds off the Atlantic. That looks unsettled, to say the least. Week 3! <laughs> will be the 10th to the 16th of August with again low pressure over and to the north winds in from west to north west direction Matt's looking cool and showery too and then finally week 4 bit of a change is 17th 23rd of August probably still some low pressure left around ice and green but high pressure is building towards Scandinavia and to our southwest as well. That looks like we might be starting to turn things drier and warmer there for the third week of August, which is, of course, four weeks away. Um, it's a long way out. We've got lots of unsettled work to get out of the way before we get to that. But maybe, maybe, maybe by the time we get to uh, the second half of August, we might see summer returning. It's a long way off though, that, so <laughs> don't put too much uh, don't put too much credence on that at this stage. We shall see time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've, if you've enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment 
and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to friends about gals worth it. So say 18 subscribers, 180 is all we need now to get ourselves to 16.5k. Uh, so if you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, um, for doing that. Ding the bell as well. You'll be notified when we release content, live stream, and community posts. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for Gaz Webbies. Right, I'll just show coming up tomorrow. We're going to have the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. There'll be Joey Friday at 10 to 14 there, and the East Chef WF 42 day forecast is going to be released tomorrow. Reason that's being released on Friday rather than Saturday. So on Saturday, we'll have the second uh, autumn 2023 seasonal model roundup. So that'll be coming up on Saturday. I'll tell you about all the weekend videos, though, uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, you enjoy the rest of your Thursday, though. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.